Hi YouTube, this is Kylie Chasing Dreams coming to you from sunny Bendigo. Um, yes, we've got the sun shining here, we've got a public holiday and I'm getting some rays. Fodham D's low, so got to get some sun. But anyway, um, just thought I'd do an update because I haven't done one for quite a while. And yeah, sorry about that. Um, I was sort of doing some updates on plastics, but because I have to wait for insurance and rack up some holidays and all that, um, nothing really is happening on that stage. Um, I've had a consult and yeah, um, ready to book in for June next year. But anyway, um, today um, I hit goal. Woohoo! <laughs> um, yeah, I actually hit 79.9 kilos. Um, well, actually, it was 79.4. Give me some credit <laughs> um, but yeah um, only because I have been told by the surgeon that I have 10 plus kilos of excess skin and no matter how much um, I try and lose that will still be there so in realistic terms um, after all my surgeries are done um, I should sit around the 69 kilo mark um, give or take a few kilos but um, my original goal was to get to 70 so um, when I hit 79.9 less than 10 kilos um, I called it so yeah that happened this morning um, so um, I sort of yep stark naked in the ba bathroom jumping up and down going yay and I'm thinking oops stop that your flabby bits are flabbing <laughs> Sorry for too much information, but oh well. When you lose 60, nearly 66 kilos, there's going to be bits there. So um, one day I might put a skin flick up. Um, I think other people have done them before um, and you sort of get the idea. But I'll see how I feel and um, we'll go from there. I have done one a while ago, but only a couple of co a few close friends have seen that. Um, yeah, that was probably about 10, 15 kilos ago. So um, skin has gotten a little bit worse. Um, in the clothes wise, I'm struggling to get clothes because I do carry all my excess skin around the bottom of my tummy um, and the top of my thighs. So um, at the top around my, my um, chest area and all that, I reckon I'm about a size 12. Um, but I do have to go to 14 and 16s um, in pants and tops to cover um, me lovely great big roll of skin. So that's the joys. Plus also, um, I won't show my arms out in public. They're just too bad. Um, I think I could work for Qantas and fly a plane with my, my arm flaps. So um, they're quite bad. And yeah, I've never shown my arms even when I was at my heaviest. So... Um, I'm not going to start now. Um, it is fun trying to find three-quarter length tops at the moment or even tops that just go to my my elbows. Um, a lot of things these days are all, you know, you, cr um, you crop um, top that come up near the, the top of your arms or your sleeveless or tank tops. So, um, yeah, just trying to cover all that bit. Um, eating wise, um, I've been eating really well. Um, I did go start um, probably about 12, 13 weeks ago on low carb, high fat, so LCHF diet. Um, and I have found that my restriction um, is working really, really well. Um, if people out there are having trouble feeling that they can eat a lot, change what you're actually eating go for more denser foods um, and then you'll see how your restriction is after a couple of weeks um, so for an example day um, I'll have a sugar-free hot chocolate with two teaspoons of pure cream um, that's first thing in the morning and that does help things move along in the other area down there um, sorry once again too much info but um, that helps and then at morning tea I'll actually have a couple of cheese sticks now I do have the full fat I don't have those stringy cheese the fake cheese I go for the your natural full fat never any sugar um, diet cheese um, because once they put diet in the word they've added extra sugar in there so um, I don't have any excess sugar at all um, then lunch might be some prawns with coleslaw or I might have some um, meat with cheese or I might have scrambled eggs um, or I might have leftover from tea um, but yeah predominantly meat 
that's cooked in butter, um, sour cream, um, yeah, and full fat sour cream, no light stuff. Um, once again, bacon, eggs, um, and then you can have your chicken with skin on, um, all your meats, um, which are really, really good. And then tea, yeah, once again, um, I do have your meats, some veggies, um, I don't have potatoes, um, but now that I've got to my goal, um, I will add a little bit more carbohydrate into my diet. Um, with fruits, I do have berries, so your raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, and strawberries. Um, all your other fruits can be high in natural sugar, so I try and stick clear of them, but as I said, now that I've sort of hit maintenance, if I feel like a piece, I might have a piece of fruit or something, but I won't go gung-ho on it um, and enjoy that. I will allow a treat here or there in, um, but I do try and stick to less sugar. I had a little bit of a binge the other weekend and I just bloated up and felt crap. Um, went back onto my low carb, high fat and bang, this last lot of my weight has came off for me. So um, I'm really excited about that. So um, it's good. Um, what else? Um, my house is coming along really, really good. Um, I think I hopefully will be in in the next eight weeks. Um, but desperation, they they will. Oh, they they said they'll try and get me in before Christmas. So um, I'm I'm at lock up stage. The painters have been in and painted. Um, all the doors are in. All the cabinets are in. Um, they just have to fit it out with all my electrical appliances, the bath and tiles and carpet and flooring and. And all that sort of thing so um, yeah it's looking really really good um, so I can move out from my sister's place yay we've only tried to kill each other a couple of times so that's not too bad for the amount of time I've been here but it has saved me heaps of heaps of money so um, that's been really really good what else um, Liz went and had had her surgery I think it's about six or seven weeks ago I'm sorry Liz it's not exact but she's going really well um, keep your fluids up love um, I sort of haven't been on my Facebook page for a while I've just been sticking to me normal home one um, but I do flick over every now and again and see what everyone's up to um, Phil your house is looking great too race you to the end mate um, but yeah yours is probably double the size of mine but yeah it's looking really good um, it's all exciting times when you venture out and do these sort of things. Um, I'm still going to the gym, but I've been really, really slack. Um, I've I have my PT session every week, so that's that keeps me going. Um, motivation during winter really knocked me about. Um, my doctor sort of um, put me on some more anti oh, anti um, antidepressants and um, we've had to change them a couple of times because yeah I did um, go to the stage of not eating at all or drinking so um, yeah we had to change them around and because of my uh, my pain meds that I have for my back I've got to be careful of um, serotonin syndrome so we're just keeping an eye on that and hopefully that'll spark me up and get me motivated to do a few more things um, it's really funny walking into the supermarket the other day and who did I run into? Yes, Lisa VSG. Um, Aussie Lisa. So, yeah, her parents live here and, yeah, we caught up so for a few minutes. But she's looking fantastic. Um, happy birthday, Mel. Um, Mel's birthday was yesterday, so good on you. And Amy. Oh, beautiful Amy's Pregos. Yay. <laughs> Congratulations, Amy. That bump looks fantastic. Um, you're going to have a beautiful baby no matter what you have a boy or girl. I know you want a girl, but yeah, it's going to, can't wait. So excited for you. Um, who else? Cass, you going to get there, girl? I've got faith in you. Um, I know you can do it. Um, you're not far from getting into the magic 70s, so push on, girl. You can do it. Um, who else? Oh God, I hope I haven't missed anyone because I haven't really, um, really seen many people. Lauren Dayton, you're looking gorgeous. Um, I've watched all your videos, all, all your clothes hauls. Um, yeah, you need an actual update, but, um, yeah, I do like to see even whatever video you put out. Um, I love watching. 
Um, you say it how it is. <laughs> I love it when you drop the F bob. It just comes out naturally for you. <laughs> um, who else? God, there's got to be someone else out there that I've missed. Um, Aussie girls, I'm just trying to think. Um, I think I've, I've mentioned most of the girls. Belle, I love your puppies. I want to pinch one. Yeah. Belle has Cavaliers. That's what I had, but I lost my two last year. So um, I'm just going to wait until I get into my house before I get another dog. If I get one, I don't know yet. But yeah, every time I see an update picture with her doggies, oh, I fall in love again and say I want one. And then reality hits and says, no, Kylie. But anyway, um, I'm sort of crapping on here. I've gone for 10 minutes. Um, Oh, did I tell you? Oh, yeah, I did tell you what. So, sorry, I'll do this backwards, but anyway. Um, so, really, my start weight um, on the 27th of February, 2014, was 145 kilos. And so, today, I'm sitting at 79.4. So, that's a loss of 60, 65.6 kilos. So, that's done in 19 months. So, um, I'm quite happy about that. Um, it has been a struggle the last probably six months um, where, yeah, it gets frustrating. You go up and down, up and down, and you sort of feel like that you're only losing one kilo a month or one kilo every two months. But, hey, stick to it. It's a life thing. Um, I'm now thinking that maybe I want to get to 75 kilos. Um, but, yeah, but then if I get to 75 and then you take the 10 kilos off, be sitting at 65 will I be too thin because but then again I'll be in the healthy range because um, I'm still in overweight if you look at that stupid BMI scale I hate that scale but it still sticks in your head but anyway guys um, I'm gonna love yous and leave yous um, I'm getting some rays here and loving this weather um, our AFL grand final is on tomorrow so hence why we've got a public holiday today um, I'm loving it but some of the small businesses aren't because it's cost them, them a bit to run but yeah, um, my team didn't make it. Good old Tigers got eliminated in the first round of the finals. So next year, Tigers. But anyway, have a good one. Keep doing what you're doing. And I will catch up with you next time. Okay, bye.